How would you feel if you're a test subject in the lab? Probably not great, huh? I'm sure the animals I'm sure the animals feel the same way. I think we all know that we test I'm sure we all are aware that we <laughs> we test products on animals, but what if I told you that it's not a, it, it's not effective? It it's we test them so they're safe for humans, but if I told you that it's not always effective. Can I just restart that? Oh my god. Can I just not go today? Or do I just have to go right now? Give it a shot. Try to get through god. this. You got okay. How would you feel if you're a test subject in the lab? Probably not great, huh? I'm sure the animals who are subjected to tests for products that will be marketed to humans feel the same way. We all know the main reason we test products on animals is to make sure it's safe for humans. But if I told you that that, that animal testing isn't safe for animals and it and that we're just abusing the animals. With this in mind, we'll go over why animal testing isn't effective, why animal testing is wasteful, wasteful and why, how inhumane it is. On that note, let's hop to it. I'm sure that we're all aware that we use animals to test products, but if I told you that it isn't always effective. According to the Baltimore Sun, around 90% of medications approved oh shoot, sorry. Uh, around 90% of medications approved from human for human use from animal testing were later found that it was ineffective or even harmful to humans. Around a million people have died because of these faulty medicines. Um, from this evidence alone, we shouldn't test on animals. Yeah. The reason why these tests aren't working is that animals have different physiologies, I think it is. Um, physiology is the study of how living organisms' bodies work. Almost all d diseases are unique to the species, which means that while treatments do work for these species, oh, <laughs> while these products do work for, these treatments do work for these species, they don't work for others. While animals aren't effective for testing, we may have found something better to use instead of animals. Um, we, if we test on, we have found out that if we test on adult cells, there are no failures, there are, there are no failures to tissue rejection and adult cells, adult adult stem cells have been used to treat cardiac infracture, infraction, Crohn's disease, and I'm not gonna even try to pronounce that. Um, since these cells do work, we should we shouldn't test on animals, but rather humans. Let's say that you need to do a math problem, and there are two, two ways to solve it. There's a long there's a there's a longer version or there's a shorter version. Which version would you take? It would probably be the latter of the two. The shorter equation for us, hold on. The shorter equation for us would not be to test on animals, since it is ineffective. Now, if that didn't convince you, this next point will. The debate as to whether we should use animals for testing has been around for decades, and the only reason why it's still a debate is that people think vivisection is okay. Vivisection is where they do open, they do surgery on an animals just to run tests. And it's unnecessary. According to first first post, what, oh, according to first post, some com perfume companies will take the ingredients of perfume and test it on animals to see what happens. This doesn't just happen with perfume, perfume brands, that, but other products you use every day that you may not know. Things like shampoo, toothpaste, and band-aids. It's no wonder that they don't advertise that that they test on animals. Would 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 you use them if they hurt if you if you knew they hurt animals to test them? I wouldn't. Why would you support a company when thousands of companies when thousands of companies don't test on animals and and still produce great products. This is why test, testing on animals is very is unnecessary. 
It has been a, it has been found that products that take animal testing alternatives have been more ethical, more accurate, and more cheaper. Oh, and cheaper. So companies that test on animals should take some notes. Speaking of taking notes, here comes the last point. The most prevalent argument against animal testing is that it it is an it is inhumane. Every year, more than 100 million animals are either harmed or killed because of animal testing. There is no reason that any company should be using their products to test on animals in this day and age. Not only does animal testing damage animals in the process, it can also be damaging to humans and the environment. I think I've talked about enough, I think I've talked enough about the effects that animal testing has on animal, animal testing has on animals, so let's focus on Focus on how it affects humans and the environment. Because animal testing, because animal testing is still happening, millions of animal animals are discarded every year. According to one One World Education reports from the National Institutes of Health and IH Division of Intramural Research Laboratories, in just 18 months. From the year 2011 to 2013, these labs, these labs alone produce one over 1.5 million pounds of animal breeding excrement and excess food waste. All of this waste is now an issue because it is toxic and hazardous, and needs to be taken care of. The waste will be incinerated, which can cause which can cause health problems in humans. And don't even get me started on the environment. If we avoided testing on animals completely, we would avoid all these problems and save our cute little furry friends. And on that note, I think it's time to wrap up the speech. Today, we went over how in ineffective animal testing is, and we found out that there is a replacement. There's a replacement we could use. How wasteful animal testing is. Oh wait. How wasteful it is, and how we could easily live without it, and how, and how inhumane it is and how, how harmful it can be, not only to the animal, but to us humans in our environment. I mean, with all these reasons, how could anyone in their right mind think this is okay? And yet, it, and yet it continues. So maybe next time you're going grocery shopping, you might think about paying closer attention. Wait, oh, oops. <laughs> so maybe next time you're going grocery shopping, you, can, you might think about paying closer attention to the products that advertise themselves as cruelty-free. Thank you.